Hi, I'm Brandon Jenkins. I started Innovative Machine Solutions in 2016. Um, I was 23 at the time. Basically, I wanted to go into manufacturing. So I started out with one Haas VF2. And then from there, between the defense parts, tool and die, we do stuff for the arts industry. It, it just exploded. For the first like probably two and a half years at least that I owned the shop, we didn't have a turning department. We didn't have any lathes. We either A subbed out all of our lathe work or, you know, painstakingly so did lathe work on a mill. Now 90% of it's gonna hit that department first and then it, it gets swung over to the mill department for completion. And, and even that, a lot of that is changing. Uh, the the DS30, Haas dual spindle, we got that maybe two years ago and as we learn to use it more, as we learn to utilize the subspindle more, I mean, very quickly, there's at least nine or ten production parts that went from being, you know, one -off, two axis lathe parts to, to one off drop dual spindle parts. All the hospitals here have, have four or five axis tables on them. There's very little here that runs three axis. I mean, in, in order to be competitive anymore, your, your number one goal is to touch the part the minimum amount of times possible. Prior to the HRT 160 SSs, we, we have a lot of parts out there that do have a lot of rotations in them, a lot of, a lot of duplicate rotations in them. And uh, cycle time savings wise, I know we took one part just by switching the rotary from a standard HRT 160 to an HRT 160 SS. 15 minute program went from 15 to 12. We brought the, the 750 in to pretty much eliminate a lot of fixed string because obviously if you don't have five axes uh, and you want to research and develop parts, it's, it's not that those parts aren't going to end up on a horizontal or a standard four axis vertical. It's that from a prototyping standpoint, you know, we get to save making all that fixturing. So, you know, we would be taking production machines and throwing them at R&D and lose 24 hours of production to squeeze in eight hours that day worth of R&D work. And the way R&D work goes is half the time the machine sits there waiting for you to figure it out. Pre putting in an R&D department, we were probably three to four months to get somebody who had new ideas or new parts to actually get those parts and fixturing made through the line and onto the line. And now we can do that in five days. All of the customers that we have here are not some big, well-established customers at first. They were, they were just as small as we were. We have to give them the things that they're missing. They don't have a machine shop. They don't have a team of engineers. They don't have all of this information. And, and to be honest, that's not what they're good at either. What they're good at is marketing or ideas. You know, as a job shop, our, our goal is not to go market somebody's product or, or even our own products. Our goal is to find people that know how to do those things and then where they're manufacturing arm. We're kids with crayons. You know, we, there, there are no limits. And, we capture that in full depth here. That's the thing about manufacturing. There's no like, oh, well, I've learned all I can possibly learn. I'm an expert now. Like, yes, you're an expert, but like, there's no end to it. There's always a faster way, and especially as equipment changes. You know, I don't think there's a year that Haas doesn't roll out uh, new technology or, or a new way to do something. And not that other companies aren't doing that, but like, that gives us a reason to stay, is that we know they're working on it.